Hey guys, what is going on? In this one, we're going to be going over what is occurring in the crypto market as of the last 24 hours. As you can see, big names like Bitcoin, Ethereum, Polkadot, Ripple, and Doge have all fallen. So I'm going to be breaking down what has happened. So come and join me. So in this video, we're going to be talking about what crypto is, what's going on in the crypto market, and will cover the future of the crypto market. So come and join me. So before we talk about what happened, we need to figure out what crypto is. So crypto is pretty much a new type of digital currency or asset. So popular cryptos right now include Bitcoin and Ethereum, and those are the ones we're gonna focus on in this video. So what makes crypto so unique? So many cryptos like Bitcoin have a limited supply, crypto is secure, and crypto is decentralized. Now let's look at Bitcoin's price over the last one year. So in May 2020, it was around $9,000, hadn't even reached a five digit mark. And then it uh, rose all the way up to $63,000. And there were some like minor drops, like as you can see, 48,000, but it quickly rose back. But now as of the last week, Bitcoin has been dropping heavily and fast. So it went from a uh, high of 58000 in the last week to, as of right now, $36,000. And at one point, as you can see here, $31,000. As we take a look at Ethereum now, we can see that it's in a similar boat like Bitcoin. So back in May 2020, we can see that it was around $200 and it climbed all the way up to $4,100 and now has tanked all the way down to $2,300. Another massive drop in the crypto market. A big reason why Bitcoin along with other crypto has fell is the institutional support back out. So part of the reason for Bitcoin's weakness seems to be at least a temporary reversal in the theory of broader acceptance for cryptocurrency. So I believe that many people and companies supported crypto early on but are now a little more hesitant because of its environmental issues and its volatility. A big supporter of crypto has been Elon Musk. Earlier this year, Musk announced that he is buying more than $1 billion worth of Bitcoin for Tesla. But earlier this week, he announced that Tesla would no longer accept Bitcoin as a payment, citing environmental concerns. However, Elon Musk being Elon Musk, suggested on Wednesday that Tesla is not selling its existing Bitcoin holding using the diamond hands emoji. He is one confusing guy. Additionally, a new report from JP Morgan said that, based on future contracts, institutional investors appear to be moving away from Bitcoin and back to gold, and Bitcoin is known as gold's successor, so this could be a problem. Another reason might be the overall sentiment of the market. So tech and growth stocks have been climbing, climbing for months. And now it seems that many investors are selling these stocks and taking their profits, which is re resulting in a sell-off. And I believe this is translating into the crypto market. So many people are, are selling these popular uh, cryptos like Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Dogecoin. And that's resulting in a drop in prices. Before we continue on with this video, just a reminder that if you do like my content, Please like and subscribe down below. Thank you so, so much. The biggest reason for the crypto collapse is due to regulatory concerns. So Bitcoin and related assets have came under a lot of scrutiny from regulators around the world as they have grown into a bigger part of financial markets. So due to regulatory concerns, Bitcoin's price tumbled last Friday following an intensified call from Chinese authorities to crack down on mining and trading of the cryptocurrency. This cryptocurrency being Bitcoin. And if Bitcoin falls, the whole crypto market usually falls as well. If you're really worried about the crypto crash, just remember that crypto, especially Bitcoin, has crashed a lot. And this was recent. So from June to November 2011, at, at uh, Bitcoin's start, it crashed 93% from $29 to $2. Imagine buying it at $2. And then in August 2012, it crashed 57%. April 2013, 87% crash. 
December 2013 to January 2015, 85% crash. And most recently, December 2017 to December 2018, 84% crash. So just remember, crashes in crypto are normal due to its volatility. By taking a look at the fear and greed index, we can see the overall sentiment of the crypto market. Last month, there was a lot of greed with a score of 55. Last week, extreme fear with a score of 20. Yesterday, extreme fear with a score of 12. And right now, once again, extreme fear with a score of 14. As Warren Buffett said, be fearful when others are greedy and greedy when others are fearful. Right now is a perfect opportunity to buy crypto. Well, that's all I've got for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something new. Make sure to hit the like button to help out with the YouTube algorithm. Also, make sure to subscribe to keep up with all my uploads. Quick reminder to check the description below for additional resources related to finance, investing, and YouTube. Enough said, have a great day, and thanks for watching and stopping by. I'll see you in the next one.